Hi, Brad from bradsautoglass.com and Backglass Slider on eBay. Today we're doing a late model Dodge Ram truck, 2009 up. Because of the age of this video, I don't know when the model year stops, but this is the style and design that we'll be working on. Let's go around back and take a look at the broken window. So we've taken the time to prep this, and if you look, you can see the window's broken, and there's this glass that's still adhered to the body and the, and the encapsulation that the window's made out of, which is plastic. This is bonded at the factory and is extremely difficult to remove, and it's even more difficult to replicate the adhesion. So we leave this on and we glue over the top. That's why it says in the description that it's a patch panel. So as you can see, I've got I've left glass where it's still adhered, and we're going to prep this with the brake clean to get it clean, and then we're going to apply urethane to this glass surface, and we're going to install our window. Let's get started. Let's go. All right, so things you're going to need to install this window is you'll need some brake clean, and the reason you need this is so you can prepare the glass surface, but also if you get the urethane, which you're also going to need, if you get this on anything, the brake clean is the world's best cleaner for removing urethane from interiors, from your hands, anywhere you get it that you don't want it. This right here is the most common brand of urethane that you're going to find at your local parts store. It's primerless. When it says that it's primerless, it means that it's primerless to glass and to urethane. In other words, it can bond to urethane or glass. It cannot bond to plastic, so if you have taken the time to remove all the broken glass from your opening, this product will not work. I sell a product in my store that will work, that comes with all the stuff that you need. It's the only urethane product I sell in my store. It's very affordable. Check it out on the store. Let's get started. First thing you want to do when you get your glass is to carefully open the box. I'll show you in just a second, but I want to first make sure that you test fit your part and it's going to fit the opening. So I know I've got the right part here, but back up. when you get your box, it's going to be stapled like this one is. All I did was remove these two staples and slide the glass out of the box. That way if you need to return it, you can slip it back in and send it back. But before you return any parts, you must contact technical support at 231-263-3300. I'll repeat, 231-263-3300. I'm going to prep this glass. So we're going to take the brake clean that I talked about, a little bit on a rag. We're just going to wipe our bonding surface and then do a dry wipe, and the glass is clean, it'll accept the urethane. Now I'm going to do the broken glass on the body. Being careful, give it a single wipe. I will complete this, you're not going to see that in the video. Cause all right, I finished prepping this with our brake clean. It's all set to go. I've got the window open. I've got my two clamps. I've got tape up in place. It's pressed on top, just stuck over, so this is going to hold the glass up when I put it up in place. I've got my urethane, and I'm ready to start applying. Now, around the edge of the opening, you want to make sure that you get enough urethane and you get this leading edge so it doesn't have any leak issues. Now you'll notice I ran a smaller, I ran a larger bead on top, and then I ran a smaller bead on the bottom because I want to pick up all of this glass to support the plastic frame that's behind it. We'll do the same thing on the bottom. Oh, 
was. Tell me when. Good. So I got the top and the bottom done. Now I'm going to run a little down the side here. Make sure all the urethane is connected so we don't have any leaks. And now. With the urethane in place, we're going to just set the window. I'm going to catch this top edge, follow it around. Make sure we get good alignment so it looks good. Now this is the most important part right here is we got to get these clamps on. But I want to get the tape on first. Alright, that tape's holding us in place. We'll squish this down real good. So I don't have the tape right where I needed it. I'm going to move it. sure I'm getting good placement. Alright, pause. Then I'm going to take a clamp and reach inside here and catch the back side of the frame and clamp that down and that's really going to give us a nice fit. So on the dodges we found that on the bottom we want to use this style of clamp and this is a Stanley 83 262. So again, 83 262. It's just a standard metal clamp, but it's got a thin nose which allows it to get in here and get behind and grab what we need to grab. And I'm going inside and grabbing the opening from the seat belt. And looking at this particular truck, you could probably use a regular plastic clamp but I know this works so make sure that you've got space there and use the appropriate clamp okay so now this is clamped down and I can see it sucking in and pushing the urethane down but this outside is wanting to stick up so what we're going to do is I'm going to go down in the ground and I'm going to put these here and I'm going to run tape all the way around and put pressure on here and then a customer showed us a nice little trick that we're going to add uh, as an addendum to the end of the video so stay tuned for that Turn it off. Okay. All right, so I've got these wedges in place on the edge of the glass, and as close to the edge as you can get, and then tape all the way to the other side. And you're going to need more than just one thing of tape. You're going to probably want to put several layers on, and you're just going to pull this snug here. But when you come around this corner, you want to push on the glass and pull this tape tight. And it, you can see it pull the glass down. So each time I'm adding a layer, and then I'm coming around and I'm pulling this just as tight as I can get it. And I can see that the pieces behind have loosened up. So now I'm just going to add some more pull down, and that really pulls it into place nice. That's holding that corner, the clamps are holding it. And then the same thing here, I'm going to push that glass down and tape it into the door jam or the side of the truck and then I'm going to do that again. Now you want to make sure that your tapes pressed down well and sticks because you want it to stay because if that comes loose that window is going to want to come loose. But I'm going to pull this down one more time just to try and get a little more. All right. It's trying to give way at that end. And what I recommend at this far end is you take duct tape and you put it right there like that to help keep that from pulling away on both top sides. Then let this set for 24 hours and then uh, you'll want to get inside and trim anything out. We'll take a break and I'll bring the camera around to the inside and I'll show you what to do there. Okay, so we're inside, and this is day two. Pretend that the tape and everything is off. Okay, don't. And uh, we want to seam this up. There's a little bit of broken glass that's still visible around the edge. 
So what you do is you take your clock gun and just run a bead right on top of it. Like that. And go all the way around. Now when you get done laying this bead down, if you're not happy, don't stick your finger in it or try and fix it. Wait till it dries and trim it with a razor blade. But you can do that all the way around the outside edge. And then there's one more piece that we have to add. We have to add the seal, which comes in the bottom of the box. So make sure you open the box all the way. In this portion of the video, we're going to show you how to install the rubber seal that goes between your new window and the sliding window. As you can see in the video, unfortunately it is sideways because it's laying on the truck. It should be held up. He's tucking the seal in between the glass with the red 3M adhesive tape towards the fixed window. And you can see he's got part of it peeled back. And that exposed about two inches of the adhesion pad that will bond to the glass. But you need to wet that up with Windex so that it doesn't stick. And as the Windex evaporates, the adhesion will then be just fine. So you can see he had a little bit of problem getting it in because he didn't wet it up. And then he's going to pull that red 3M protector off of the adhesive. And as it comes down, you can see it. Just pulling out the rubber stain in place, it's in. He's going to come back and press it in place, but I can assure you that it's once it's bonded to that glass, it'll stay. Unfortunately, this is the only video I have of this process. If you have any questions, contact Technical Support. Hi, Brad from bradsautoglass.com and Back Glass Slider on eBay. A customer called me uh, the other day and advised me of something that he had done during his installation and I'd like to add this as an addendum to something that also I think might be helpful. So trying to get a nicer fit and hold these tight, he didn't feel comfortable with the tape so he put pull straps, ratcheting style, not the clamp ones that don't have the ratchet, using ratcheting style. And I found that by putting these on here, just a little tug and I mean very little that's all it took and I've already snugged this bottom one up but we're just wrapping it all the way around the vehicle going over our existing tape and just you can see these aren't overly tightened but they've got just enough tension on them to hold the window make sure the tape doesn't release I think this is a really good idea it, it looks peculiar but it seems to work very well. Thanks, Brad. Brad's Autoglass.com.